Hi, David Vaughn here. Instructional and how-to videos are becoming all the rage, helping businesses and brands demonstrate how to use their products and services to their target market. If you use ScreenFlow for Mac, you've often wondered, probably, if there's an easy way when doing your video to focus in exactly where the mouse cursor is so that there's no mistake as to what that person should be doing next. I'm here to let you know that there's a feature called Callout Properties, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate using ScreenFlow for Mac how to use that feature and get it into your next video that you do. Hang tight. Okay, welcome back. So, in order for you to be able to use the callout properties inside of ScreenFlow to magnify the area that the pointer is at at that current time, you're going to need to have a current screen recording open. And this has to be a raw ScreenFlow file that you get. It can't be done with an MP4 or an MOV, anything that you've done in ScreenFlow that you've already exported out as a, a actual video, that's not gonna work. These only work with the actual raw recorded screen recording that you've already done. So I've got one up here that I've done and I'm gonna show you the steps to do. You're gonna see that it's really simple to do. So what you wanna do is you wanna scrub through your video until you find a spot where you're clicking uh, with the actual mouse. So I'm getting, I know that I'm getting ready to click here up in apps. So what you want to do there is you want to go over to the tab that's called Call Out Properties, which is right here. And you want to make sure that your screen recording is selected. So you'll know that it's selected. It's got the nice little highlight around it. You can also see that now your screen's got these areas if you wanted to be adjusting the size or anything of that nature. But you'll also see that now this area is not grayed out that you can add a call out. So you're going to add a call out. And if this message pops up, adding an action to a clip enables you to modify. You can sit there and say, don't show this again. Or if you want to sit there and read it each time, by all means, just leave it there. Otherwise, just click OK. That's going to go away. So now you can see, and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Now you can see that the area is highlighted that's got my actual um, mouse cursor where it's going to be clicking. So that's the, and that's because that's the area that I want. Now I'm also showing you in this, and I'm going to go back real quick. I'm also showing you in this video that I wanted to have myself on the video as well. And you notice that I am not grayed out. So what happens is it simply highlights that area. Now, it's a little small. I have a large screen, and so I want to make sure this is readable to everybody. So I usually like to bump things up to about 255% or so. And you can see all it does is actually magnify again the actual area that you're going to be clicking on. Down here in your menu bar, in your timeline, you'll see that you now have this property right here and you can extend it out or you can shorten it and basically what I do is I sit there and I just let the video play to where it clicks and then I skipped ahead a little bit too far so this is a real short segment and I'm just going to shorten it up by dragging that in and now what happens is it's just that short so you can back your video up, let it play, click, and it goes in and out. Now the other thing that I want to make sure that you see is that that's a little bit rough. You can see it goes up, it clicks, and it goes away. And it's real fast. Over on this side, the right hand side, you've got build. You can build it in durations of seconds and out durations of segments. And basically that slows it down, makes it a little bit more smooth and fluid. And so basically what I do is I increase it to about 0.3 of a, a second on both ends. And then if we run that through again, you see, let me do that one more time for you. And then you're gonna go to the app section. 
that it makes it to where it blows it up slower and then goes back out and then shows up. Um, I think that's about it as to what it is. There's some other properties that you can do. You can blur the background. You can do foreground windows. You can do all these different types of things. Play around with it. See how it works. But that's how Callout Properties works. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and questions section below. If there's anything else about ScreenFellow that you'd like to know about, by all means, let me know in the comments section or reach out to me on Twitter or Facebook. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.